Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily. I'm Nicholas Richardson and this is the news. The Polish Ministry of Defence published a video on Twitter today which shows Belarusian border guards flashing a green laser at Polish border personnel near the town of Tokary. The Belarusian forces also threw rocks at their Polish counterparts while trying to aid a group of migrants to cross into Poland illegally. The Polish border guard also reported crossing attempts at the border section near Szydrawo, where another group of migrants threw stones, metal pipes and firecrackers. The Polish border guard said that 134 attempts to cross the border illegally were made in the previous day. Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko has pressured the European Union and Germany in particular to accept some migrants while Belarus repatriates others, a demand the bloc has so far flatly rejected. The crisis on the Belarusian border involving thousands of migrants from Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan and elsewhere, all hoping to get into the European Union, has dragged on for months. Poland and the European Union accuse Lukashenko of encouraging the migrants to travel to Belarus and cross the border illegally as revenge for sanctions imposed on Minsk over human rights abuses. Belarus denies the charge and says the European Union is to blame for the humanitarian crisis at the border. And the waves of migrants also remain an unsolved problem in the Americas. A new massive migrant caravan consisting mainly of Haitians has departed from the southern Mexican city of Tapachula. More than 2,000 migrants are expected to link up with other migrant caravans further north before heading together for the United States border. By Monday morning, the caravan had advanced about 25 kilometers to reach the town of Huehuetan. The majority of its members were families from Central America and the Caribbean seeking a more prosperous life in the United States. For months, migrants and human rights advocates have denounced the prison-like conditions in Tapachua. Under Mexican rules, migrants must wait to process their claims, often for months, before being able to relocate to other parts of the country without fear of deportation. We are looking for the best solution to get out of Tapachua, because here in Tapachua we are not doing anything. We are only spending money and we do not have money to spend. We can't pay rent, all of that. So that is why we are walking until we get somewhere. And I don't know what migration will decide to do with us. We hope they will help us by allowing us to legally work. That is why we are walking. Thousands of migrants waited on Monday in an hours long line inside a stadium where immigration officials had set up a processing center. I've been here since last week, plus three days at migration. It's been 10 days in total until today. We have nothing to live with. We don't understand why they keep making us wait and wait. If I'm always here, sleeping and all that, there's no way to keep living like this. Last week, the Mexican government transported hundreds of migrants from Tapachua to other states in efforts to head off the formation of more caravans. But tens of thousands of migrants still remain in the city. Ukraine has officially welcomed Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan's offer to act as a mediator between Ukraine and Russia as tensions are mounting ahead of a potential second Russian invasion of Ukraine in seven years. Turkey, a NATO member state, has in recent years launched close military cooperation with Kiev. Speaking to reporters on a flight from Turkmenistan, Erdogan was cited as saying that Turkey wanted peace in the Black Sea region and was discussing the issue with his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin, frequently. NATO member Turkey has good ties with both Kiev and Moscow, though it opposes Russian policies in Syria and Libya. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba has warned that Ukraine would defend itself from any Russian attack, adding, this will not be an easy ride for Russia in Ukraine. It is true that Ukraine and uh, Turkey enjoy excellent relations, and uh, there is a high level of trust between President Erdogan and President Zelensky. Ukraine remains committed to the work of the Normandy format. However, we never objected to any proposal or initiative to, uh, of good offices offered by other partners and friends. And uh, we, will, we will welcome uh, any effort that can help us to put an end to this war, to uh, return Ukraine's territories, which are currently under Russian control. The United States, NATO and Ukrainian officials say Russian forces have massed on the border of Ukraine, which is battling Moscow-backed separatists who control part of its territory in the east. Ukraine has proven over these years, has proved over these years that we are committed to a peaceful solution and we are committed to the uh, process taking place in the Normandy format. When Russia accuses Ukraine 
of plotting a war, plotting an, an aggressive military action, uh, it just tries to disinform and disorient and distort the reality. This is definitely not the case. Last month, Moscow said Turkish drones risked having a destabilizing impact in eastern Ukraine after Kiev deployed one to hit a position controlled by Russian-backed separatists. French hard-right commentator Eric Zamor announced his candidacy for president today via a video played out live on YouTube and called on voters to take the country back from minorities that oppress the majority. The controversial intellectual has surged in opinion polls and is likely to face off with the incumbent president, Emmanuel Macron, in the second round runoff. A former journalist who has been convicted for inciting so-called racial hatred and has become the top contender to challenge Maureen Le Pen, leader of the more established hard-right National Rally Party, for a place in the second round against President Emmanuel Macron. You haven't moved out, and yet you feel like you're no longer at home. You haven't left your country, but it is as if your country has left you. You feel like a foreigner in your own country. You are exiled from within. His candidacy turns the election into a test of the endurance and limits of Europe's national conservative movement, which surged across the continent in the last decade. Il n'est plus temps de réformer la France. It is no longer time to reform France, but to save it. That's why I decided to run for president. I have therefore decided to ask for your votes to become your president. To solicit your suffrage to become your president of the Republic. Zemmour, 63, is a hardline critic of Islam and immigration and has drawn support both from Le Pen's voter base and from mainstream conservative right. It is said that we remake French people in France and not foreigners in an unknown land. The first round of the election is scheduled for the 10th of April. That's the news. Thank you for watching. Stay with us for the weather, Poland Daily Business and more programmes. But from mids, have a good night and a better tomorrow.